everybody welcome back to another video today we're going sub miniature and we're looking at uh, this nice boxed example of a minox b uh, you may not be familiar with these but this is the quintessential spy camera manufactured between 1958 and 1969 however they were used up until early 90s really i suppose as i take the camera out this is the camera it comes on this chain and there's a reason for the chain. Just move that out of the way. So this is the case. And it opens up like that. And there is the camera. Beautiful piece of engineering. Made in Germany. This camera can focus. Minox B. And it is the, uh, the famous spy camera. So looking at the top here, you can see we have a focusing scale. This goes from 8 inches through to infinity. Next to that we have a frame counter. Believe it or not, when this is loaded with film, it takes 50 shots. It's 50 exposures on one roll of film. And on this side we have the, um, the shutter speed selector. And as you can see, it goes from half a second through to a thousandth of a second plus a time plus a bulb and this one's really unusual and it has a built-in selenium cell light meter so as you see as I point it towards the light it has a built-in light meter the same thing you just have to line this scale up with your ASA the copying documents around about 25 ASA was, was the sort of level that they were working at so this is the cell here for the light meter this is the actual lens but it's covered if you pull that back there you can actually see the taking lens and there is the viewfinder and it is parallax corrected so as you adjust the focus um, it will uh, it will correct for it as well that's the shutter release so to advance the film push it back in pull it back out and to set the shutter speed you just basically get your big old thumb on there and turn. Not the easiest thing in the world to use. You would do all this obviously before you sneaked into somewhere to copy something. It's half a second. Very, very quiet. That's the frame counter in there. All right, so this is your focusing here, so this is the moment focused at infinity. And it will focus all the way down to 8 inches. Okay, but how do you get film in it, I can hear you ask. Well, if you pull it further apart, this flap here, you get your finger in there, and it'll slide. And that's where the film goes. It's in a cartridge form that just drops in. The first frame's always exposed. So the film just gets dragged in when you open and close it into this side. So it's like a cartridge, a bit like the 126 cartridges. Um, loads of accessories for this. Uh, a daylight developing tank would probably be the most useful because you can just take this cartridge, put it into the daylight tank and process it. And uh, very high quality lens. Haven't got any film for it, it's quite hard to get hold of. There is a place in America that is hand winding film for these. But uh, yeah, that's how you load it with film. Camera okay, can't focus on it too well. Right, the chain, if you notice, has got these little bullet marks all the way along. I'll get it in close, you might not be able to focus on that. The chain has got these bullets at certain lengths along its length and the reason for that is that you can use it to measure. So if you take the first bullet that will give you a set distance and that distance corresponds to the marks on the focusing onto here. So the shortest one this is actually eight, eight inches so you can judge from here there's one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight, and there's eight along here. 
when this is at its fullest length, that is exactly the right length for photographing A4 documents. So you can use this rather than looking through the viewfinder to very quickly gauge your focusing distance because these tie in with the scales on there. Very, very clever. A lot of these were made, something like 300,000 of them were made. Incredibly popular. Not that rare, not that expensive. This one, I believe, has something to do with Australia and New Zealand. Um, this is what's written in the box. ANZ, Victoria Street International Agencies. Well, that sounds a bit spyish to me, but uh, I don't know what the history of the camera is. I picked it up just out of interest, but it's beautiful engineered, made out of aluminium. Very small and discreet. Comes with this very useful chain, which is an accessory, and you can just hide it and you can secure it onto a button and just slip it into your pocket. But it is so small you can quite easily conceal it in your hand. It's a, a beautiful piece of engineering, very light. And uh, yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful piece of engineering. Even has a flash sink on it. <laughs> yeah. So there we have it folks, the camera for today, the Minox B. Um, well worth adding to your collection if you like sort of beautifully made, beautifully crafted and engineered cameras. Um, this is definitely one to add to your collection. There is a Minox A that came out before, that didn't have a light meter. And there was a Minox C that came out afterwards, but this is by far the most common, is the Minox B. Thank you very much for watching, hope you found it interesting. And uh, comments, questions, queries down below. If you know anything about this camera, drop us a line and let us know what international agencies is or was um, this place. Um, corner Queens of Victoria Street, international agencies. Interesting. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, query, subscribe, etc. down below. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.